Thanks to Cricut for sponsoring a portion of this video. I have a unique period of time right now where Christian has Maddie out of the house. Surprise, surprise, he needs to buy something else from Lowe's for the bathroom project, but he took her. Somehow, miraculously, Daisy's asleep, so I have just me, myself, and I at home, and it's almost Christmas, so I need to get some stuff together. With the bathroom project happening, we don't feel very Christmassy. <laughs> the house is under construction, that's all we talk about, that's all we think about, it doesn't feel like the holidays, but I'm gonna use this period of time to get myself in the mood, get the family ready for Christmas. I have wrapping presents, that's like the main thing we're gonna do, we need to wrap presents. I have a little DIY I wanna do in a little bit, um, and then I came down to the basement, it's where I'm hiding Christmas presents, mostly for Madeline, um, we have a couple other random gifts that I'll share or just show the wrapping process for. I love these videos. Um, but wrapping gifts, DIY, and I came down to the basement because I'm hiding gifts here. Full circle back to what I was saying. Um, basement's a mess. I need to spend a few minutes picking this up and then we will get into wrapping presents. So let's get into the holly jolly spirit. Hey Google, play Christmas hits playlist. Sure. Here's the spot of my playlist called Christmas hits. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Okay, here's everything I have gathered so far. A few more gifts need to be purchased, but I'm gonna wrap what I've got. Um, some things are for my parents, like this beauty salon set. I think Maddie's gonna die when she sees this. I'm not gonna wrap this. I think I'm gonna have that just set out for Christmas morning. We're not doing tons of little gifts because you can see we just have toys galore that are all over the place all the time and that's just causing major chaos in my life. So I am just not buying lots of tiny little things. Fine if grandparents wanna do it, friends, family, just not from Christian and me. And so the only things we're getting Maddie um, I got her a little set of Minnie Mouse books, and then we also got her from Ikea. But if I can get back here <laughs> from Ikea, we went while well, we were at Christian's parents' house last time, and we actually got her birthday gift and Christmas gift. Her birthday gift is the Ikea kitchen, play kitchen, and then her Christmas gift is going to be the sensory bin table. I'll insert a picture here of it. I would love to get that built for her. Basically, you can do like little activities inside of it. If you follow on Instagram, you know I do uh, like oats in bowls for her all the time. She loves to pour, she loves to dig and play and all of that. So we're gonna give her a sensory table with a sensory activity like in it waiting for her on Christmas morning and I think she's going to love it. I'd love to build that table today if I have enough time and can stop talking to the camera. And I have officially chatted way too much, talked too much, and it's time to shut up and just start wrapping presents for as long as we possibly can until we get interrupted. <laughs> I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe Baby with you Ooh I'm making plans What we're gonna do I feel so blessed That I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars Shining just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. Now by the end of this video You'll see we'll have such a small pile of wrapped gifts Which is very different than how we normally do things Krishna and I love gift giving We love gifting Madeline things It's so much fun But I do feel like we're just overwhelmed in our house right now That like we just don't want more stuff coming in At least from us So we're definitely pulling back in that way And then for Krishna and me We're not doing gifts for each other this year Technically Stay tuned for a little surprise Or a little secret That I will let you guys in on But um 
We are not doing a lot of gifts because we're spending so much on this bathroom project and we were hoping to have the bathroom done by Christmas. It's now looking like it'll be a New Year's type project celebration, but ultimately that's going to be our gift to each other this year. So that's why there's not tons and tons of wrapping, but I do have a secret surprise. I have to whisper because Christian's upstairs and I don't want to ruin it, um, but I can confidently know that he will not watch this YouTube video so I can let you guys in on my little secret that he's going to be annoyed about. So stay tuned to find out what that's all about. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Another big difference this year for us with our family and gift giving is that uh, our biggest, uh, or not biggest, the largest number of people we buy gifts for is for Christian's family. He's one of four boys and then they're all married. Some of them have children, his parents, grandparents, like all of that on his side of the family is normally what like the greatest quantity of gifts is for. And this year we've decided that as a group, we're just gonna do a big white elephant $20, $25 gift limit. So if you are a part of that McPhail family, stop watching now. But we're doing, each person brings obviously a white elephant gift. Uh, this is one of the gifts that we're gonna bring. It's gonna be this dartboard. I thought it was a fun gift idea because it's like interesting to think of a gift that might be appreciated or someone might be willing to steal. I think our other gift idea is going to be getting um, a pack of diapers. Um, one other set of married in-laws have two children and I feel like if it was me I might actually just steal the diapers for myself. Like I would love free diapers. So that might be the other gift we bring. Let me know any fun white elephant gift ideas you have down below. But whole point of that was to say that we are doing just white elephant for everybody. So everybody just brings one gift and leaves with one gift instead of everybody buying a gift for each other. Okay, here's where we've landed. I've got a handful of things wrapped for the girls. I'm gonna leave these books out and then technically these bath toys are from my parents for Daisy and uh, she can't open presents. So I'm gonna just leave those out there in the open, I think. They're for bath time because we will hopefully have the new bath ready by then. Um, I'm also not going to wrap Bucky's gifts. Where's the Kong? Right here. So those are all of our unwrapped gifts. And then our little tools for, uh, what's it called? The sensory bin. I'm gonna pull those aside for later and just kind of keep those tucked away for me because I think we're gonna use the tongs and maybe the like, uh, what's this called? Spatula. But the rest of them I wanna hold as a secret because hopefully with the table can be new sensory tables all the time. So I'm gonna hide all these presents so toddlers can't find them and get into them. We're not gonna put anything under the tree. Also, Christian and I like technically aren't buying gifts for each other, but we're secretly probably buying like one gift for each other. Um, I'm gonna get him, Christian, if you're watching this, turn it off. I'm getting him a new phone because he has a very old, old phone that's very frustrating. Um, so I'm waiting till closer to Christmas to buy that. So hopefully he doesn't look at our credit card bill. <laughs> like he just doesn't see the line item on our bill. Um, so that's gonna be holding off until then. And I think that's kind of it for Christmas shopping a little bit. Our, we don't live near family, so a lot of gifts just get shipped and all that stuff. So for wrapping stuff, I feel good about that. Maddie's table needs to get done and I wanna do my DIY. So I'm gonna go do my DIY right now. JK, hiding presents first and then DIY.
future cutting in here i actually went to the apple store with maddie the other day bought christian his phone and hid it in this box and while he's out of the house right now i want to wrap it i have him thinking i need maddie out of the house but really i need him out of the house um i was trying to think of a creative way to wrap this and present it to him because last year if you remember my wrapping video we got christian a beverage fridge and to make it fun i bought uh like maybe 60 or 80 cans to put in the beverage fridge and i individually wrapped every single can so we had to unwrap them all um obviously don't have 80 things to go with an iPhone, but I do have a fun idea that like, I was gonna put it in like a big box and then bring the big box down, but like, I don't know, that seemed like a little bit too obvious. So what I think I'm going to do is just wrap the phone in the case. So like wrapping paper around the phone in the box, and then I'm gonna put it in his stocking. And because we're not doing gifts this year, there were obviously no stocking stuffers. And so I'm gonna like somehow magically set out his stocking and he'd be like, oh, the stocking's here. Santa brought you something. So while he's out of the house with Maddie, um, I'm gonna wrap the phone box and then find his stocking because I'm a bad mom and didn't put them out this year. I just feel like craziness. We didn't do stockings this year, um, but I'm gonna find his stocking, put the phone in the stocking and then hide the stocking with the other gifts all while having a little elf help me. So let's get the phone down, let's wrap it, let's find the stocking, get that all rolling. Okay, I saw this online on Instagram, Pinterest, all over the place, and there are these cute little glasses with decals on them. And thanks to Cricut for sponsoring this portion of the video with my Cricut Joy Extra machine, I want to DIY these. They're very expensive online and can get a little bit pricey. These glasses come as a set on Amazon probably. We got them as a gift, so we have six of them. And so I'm gonna turn two of them into little iced coffee afternoon cute little drink glasses. Um, I think I'm gonna do one Christmassy themed and then one just regular themed. I've seen cute ones with date. Hold on, baby's crying. Sorry, what I was saying is I saw one that had daisies on it and uh, our new daughter is named Daisy. And so I thought a cute little daisy glass would be adorable year round and Christmas time, holiday one. Um, but I'm gonna use my Joy Extra Machine. I'm gonna go into the Cricut Design Space and uh, show you how quick and easy it is to DIY and dupe these expensive Etsy glasses that you can make yourself. Honestly, the people selling them on Etsy probably are using a Cricut machine to begin with because it's so easy to work with, but uh, let's let's do it. Cricut makes these DIY dupes super simple to follow along with. All you have to do is download the Cricut Design Space app or get it on your computer, desktop, laptop, whatever you've got, they have something that will work for it. All I did was search through their easy images, created a project for this. I searched for bows for my first design and then also daisies for the second design and you can adjust the size and it tells you exactly how big that project will be. So I made mine small little half inch, one inch size little decals duplicated it a bunch, and then I just followed the in-app instructions for how to load my machine, selecting what kind of materials I'm using, and then just following the directions, and then you just press go. The Cricut Joy Extra just cuts out these little decals for you, it makes it super, super simple to follow. The app explains everything for you. And for this project, I was using Cricut's own removable smart vinyl. So I used the red one for all of the bows, I used the white color for all of the daisies, and they made it so easy to follow along with. Now, 
it was super simple to make my first glass, but it was even faster when I got to the daisy glass, and I have to say that this one I think is my favorite out of the two. It's just so, so cute. So I love the festive iced coffee glass, but the little daisy one absolutely steals my heart. I followed the same exact steps, used my scissors to cut out all of these little individual stickers. Also, these would be cute on so many different things, not just like little iced coffee glasses. I've seen people um, customize wrapping paper and gifts with that for the holidays. I've seen people do these as like uh, stickers on their Kindle or on notebooks. There's just so many different ways that you can use your Cricut to personalize and uh, DIY dupe anything you're seeing for sale online. All of those little monogram and special things for your kids and whatnot. And I'm also using Cricut's own weeding tool. It's like this little sharp pokey thing to pull out the center of each daisy. So it's a really easy way to just have a clean looking decal. obsessed with obviously the little red bows very Christmassy but the daisies like come on our daughter is Daisy how cute is this um, I think Christian's gonna show me some uh, iced coffee recipes he has in mind maybe even a holiday one and we will have iced coffee later on today and uh, thanks again for Cricut for these adorable adorable DIY glasses so easy so quick I have two teeny little leftover Daisy stickers to use somewhere so I'll hold on to these and uh Cleanup's already done. Like, so easy, so simple to use this Cricut machine. I have the Joy Extra. I will have everything linked below in the description bar that I use. And thanks again to Cricut for sponsoring this portion of the video. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our share is that sensory table if you have no idea what i'm talking about when i've said sensory table like 18 times in this video i'll pop up a little picture here of an example of it but basically you can do like activities for your toddler or child to like play in and feel and touch and use like fine motor skills and little tools like the little tongs i showed and the idea for christmas morning is to set up that table that we built it'll have two bins inside of it and i'm gonna do like a hot chocolate themed one so i'm gonna put cocoa puffs in there as like the hot chocolate i have mini marshmallows to go in there just a handful of these and then i'll add some like cups and some tongs and some scoops so maddie can like play with it but also if she grabs a handful and eats it not the end of the world totally cool for her to eat some cocoa puffs on christmas morning and uh that's my idea for her i'm hearing my baby wake up again for the millionth time that's my cue to end this video thanks for getting ready for christmas and wrapping presents with me doing some christmas diys and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>